I'm talking about the, the leader of the whole state of California and the whole country, a man who has our back every single time the corporate agenda rears its head, the man who isn't afraid to tell this very simple truth, oh, by the way, testing isn't teaching. The man who is making a difference, he's making a difference for California students, my friend, our champion, please give it up for State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Tom Torlakson. Good afternoon, Democrats. How are we feeling? Are we inspired? I can't thank you enough for everything you do day in and day out, and I want to thank someone who's inspiring me. I'm, I'm revved up. I'm fired up. This convention is just channeling all kinds of positive energy, and I'm right there taking it in and going to keep, keep it going forward. And I'm inspired by Dean Vogel. I got to see a lot about this guy on the campaign trails as we were around. And as we work leading the state, visiting schools, extolling the virtues of our teachers and our students and our schools. And so let's give it up again for Dean Vogel, a truly amazing, a truly amazing leader who fights valiantly for our kids and their future. And I've heightened hopes too. I feel the positive energy here and then I felt it double in some of the forums I attended with the young Democrats like the Millennium Forum headed by Congressman Eric Swalwell and like the Progress Fund. Let's hear it for young Democrats and their energy and their altruism and their belief in the brighter future. Thank you all. <laughs> I also stand here grateful. I would not be standing here but for you and your support and your hard work. You got on the phones, you walk countless miles. You stood with me even when my opponent's wealthy friends were writing big checks to defeat me. The opponent's donors broke all records, amassing $20 million. We had half that amount, but guess what? We were victorious because we have better ideas, better vision, better values. Thank you, Democrats. This election was about the future of public education in California. It was a rejection of the bad dreams and schemes of the, Walnut, of the Wall Street tycoons who want to privatize and corporatize public education. You stopped that. I appreciate that. But the threat, as Dean said, is still there in every election in every way. But we stopped it for now. So it was a vote of confidence in the direction we're taking public education. I call this direction the California way. So I say thanks, teachers. And classified staff, thanks Labor, thanks Democrats, thanks again Dean for being a champion, and of course many thanks to John Burton and his, our great Democratic State Party team. John, you're our superhero. You are always that warrior dedicated to all of our students, dedicated to the disadvantaged to have a better life, to have lives that live up to the California dream. What is this unique California way we are uniting around, we are working around? In California, the future is now. We are cutting greenhouse gases faster than any other state. Our technology industry is leading the world, inventing amazing new devices to improve communications and that will save lives by advancing medical care. And in the same way, we are developing an education model for the nation. First of all, the California way has nothing to do with the status quo. We need to dispel the notion once and for all that the ideas, the energy, and action is on the side of the so-called reformers. That's not true, is it? We have those ideas and that energy. The California way seeks nothing less than a renaissance in publication, in public education, in its funding, in its academic standards, and in our new definition of success and accountability. 
we know in California we do things differently. We always have, we always will. And there's one big difference in the way that we're making all these dramatic changes in education in a sensible, gradual, and collaborative way. By working together with teamwork, we've avoided the battles that have proven so divisive and polarizing and time-wasting in other states in this country. And we're being looked upon as a state that can do when it comes to education and working with teachers and classified to make things better. One key component of the California way is how we fund our schools. When I talk with superintendents in other states and the teacher and classified leaders in other states, they are amazed at what we have done. Good things happening every day in our classroom. We put a spotlight on it and we went to the voters and said, would you invest in the, in the future of our kids? Would you invest? Would you vote yes? And they did. They voted yes to invest in Prop 30. Eight billion dollars a year. What do we think? Eight billion dollars a year. Thank you. Can we afford to let that $8 billion a year just sort of fade away? No. Heck no. We have some work to do to renew it, replace it in some way. Don't we need to keep that $8 billion going? Are you ready to join me in supporting a replacement plan to keep that investment going? Are you ready? We've also passed Prop 39 and four statewide facilities bond measures, totaling $40 billion of investment. Other states are envious of that kind of commitment that the California voters and California leaders have put forward. And shouldn't we invest some more in facilities too so our students have the learning environment that matches the 21st century needs and the, the classroom conducive to learning? Are you ready to support a ballot measure, a bond measure to help our schools have that modern facility? The other thing we're doing is how we distribute the money besides getting investment from the public. We're doing it smarter, we're doing it with greater justice. We're targeting the students that have the greatest needs. Those students from poverty, those students who are English learners, those foster kids. It's a measure of justice long overdue. What do you think? Long overdue. Thank you. Coupled with this in the California way is an historic emphasis, a new opportunity called local control over funding and priority setting with an accountability plan. A tremendous opportunity for parents, teachers, staff, and community and business leaders to have a voice. This is cutting edge. Nowhere else in the nation is this happening. On testing, on testing, we heard about Dean's thoughts on testing. Is testing teaching? No. On testing, the California, the California way led to a showdown with the U.S. Department of Education. We refused to do double testing. They wanted us to do double testing. We said no. Thank you, teachers, for standing up for that. And we did away. We're for less testing, and we did away with second grade testing. And we said, we said let's suspend the API for a year. Let's, let's have our teachers and students work together to bring in this new kind of a learning system. And we're doing it. Are you glad we suspended that for a year? The California way is also demonstrated by our huge investment in career technical education. It's exciting. Students are learning with a purpose. They're hands-on. They're graduating in record rates. The legislature and the governor and all of us work together to get a billion dollars invested, and my department is taking that money and forming partnerships across the state. Again, we're seeing students excited about their future and dreaming of who they can become and working hard to get there. We got some great news last week on education, on the budget. Our economic recovery is strong and provides billions more in our school revenues. These funds and those from Prop 30 are again driving a renaissance in public education. Programs are being added, expanded in science and civics, art, music, drama, and early learning. Shouldn't we have more investment in early learning? Shouldn't we have universal access to quality childcare and quality preschool slots? Yes, we should, and we have a chance to do that. Also, my initiative to modernize the way we teach and learn using education technology, which we call No Child Left Offline, we're working hard, and the legislature's given us $3 billion to invest, not just in bandwidth and internet connecting devices, but to invest in our teachers who are eager to have professional development on how to use this technology in the most effective way. And I thank the teachers for their willingness and eagerness and their thirst for the professional development we're talking about. And again, this is unmatched in all the other 49 states. So yes, California per pupil spending is getting much better. 
rising up from the very bottom of the 50 states. Graduation rates have gone from 74 percent five years ago up to 81 percent, an all-time high. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, parents. But the achievement gap is not closing fast enough. There is also still a huge digital divide. And we know that the economy goes up and down. And we know that California schools have been woefully underfunded for years. So while we're making progress, are you satisfied to stay where we are at? I hear, did I hear that correctly? What was the answer? No. no, thank you. Do we still have a lot of work to do? Yeah. Let's hear it again, yes. yes. We have a lot of work to do. And with the enormous wealth and the great capacity of this great state of California, this, this is not acceptable. The status quo is unacceptable. We must work to get more. We must invest more in the California way. Are we ready to do this in the, in the 2016 ballot? giving California voters a chance and a choice? Yes, these are exciting times in education. I want to keep the Renaissance going. Do you want to keep the Renaissance going? Yes. Let's keep it going. I've never been so optimistic as I am today about where our public schools are headed. But yes, we have a lot of work to do. And as I close, I want to say this. In the classrooms, every day are talented, passionate, people who believe in the potential of every single student. These are our teachers and these are our classified. And I would like us to thank our valiantly hardworking teachers and classified to start with. Would they stand up and let's recognize them and say thanks. Thank you teachers, thank you classified. Let's have principals and administrators and school boards also stand up. If you're in education, stand up. We're standing up for you, you're standing up for the kids. Thank you. Keep it going. Move it forward. We got the right path, the right idea, the California way.